All right, let's hack into some stuff. Let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. All right, we don't have a log in here, so let's make an account. account on this system. Yeah, it looks like we do have mail. So let's check that. Got a message from Forbin. One. Okay. Alright. Go. Yeah. All right, so, oh, looks like we got a badge for reading our mail. How exciting. All right, so, do that, and then we've got, um, okay, go through this really quickly. You guys can pause and go back and look at it as needed. I'm not going to answer too many questions here, so, you know, take the time to uh, scroll back and look at anything you want here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Interesting. That's fun. Zark, anyone? Basic. System monitor. Hmm. That can be fun. Okay. It's a very useful text file. Okay, so there's that. All right, so basically what we need to do, we did an LS, so a list, so you guys can see there's some stuff here, a couple of handy little things. So the first thing I wanna do is run X modem. That'll set up our serial port so that we can actually use X modem with our modem to transfer files from BBS is down to here. Okay, so now X modem is running in the background and we can see that through a process list. X modem is running. And um, what else do we have? We have port hack rootkit war dial and X modem. All right, so let's see what other hosts are around here. So there's some hosts that are one hop away and pretty, I mean, it's a, uh, going to be pretty uh, straightforward here to do something like do this. Okay. go down the list. Excellent. So we used a buffer overrun attack to get our stay resident loop jacker in place. All right, so, oh, we got another badge. 
hacker. So let's take a look here with finger ourselves to see we're system level three, count age zero days, last active now, we're of course in Rochester. Um, we've connected twice, we've executed 12 commands, we have login on one system and that's tell, telehack. Um, the account that you saw me make and we've gotten three badges so far and we just made an account on black silicon which you can see there has the star an asterisk in front of it now so let's FTP into that and see what we can see Also looking for exe files here. Turing. That's just a Turing test. We don't really want to mess with that, so we'll hop back out of here. Stat. Let's try getting into tandem. See what files are hosted over there. You need an account on a system to be able to copy files down off of it. in this method anyway. There's of course open BBS's out in the world if we can find the phone numbers for them. NetBIOS. Terrible service. Not susceptible today to our particular attack. Okay. So we've got an account there, and I'll run this again just so you can see that it does indeed have a s asterisk now. So let's FTP into that. Let's see what files are there. Okay. Port block. That's a handy one, um, but it's not something that we need right now. So we'll just uh, remember where it is. I'll write a note down here. Port block is on tandem, so it's right next to our home server. So hop off of here, and we're gonna get into Veritas. Port 2 action here. Nope. 99. Seems like it's always the last one I try. That's how it goes. Get it? That should work. Yep. Getting that one put in. Now. Toss. Are you guys intrigued yet? On Link. Hmm. That's a useful one, so we're actually going to get that. Alright, we'll show you exactly why <laughs> we're going to get that here in a moment. Uh, we'll see if there's any other active users on um, Telehack. So that's transferred. Drop back into our shell. Run a finger. It shows everyone that's currently active. It looks like Grayson was running mail a second ago. Oh, we just got another badge. 
So we got Grayson and he's on port 37. So um, let's go link 37 and see what Grayson is up to. It doesn't look like, oh, there he goes. Now we're watching Grayson here. This isn't me typing. Welcome to television, Grayson. There's no idea anyone's watching. Looks like he's uh, reading his mail. Delete space one, Grayson. That's what you're looking for. Looks like Grayson is in Riverbank, California. And he's trying to figure out how to use the mail system. Which can be a little bit confusing if you've never used like Pine or something like that. All right, so I'm gonna control C and we'll stop. Oh, was he just doing something interesting? It looked like he was about to send some email. Ah, well. All right, so we're dropped back out to our prompt there. And uh, so I was able to link to Grayson. Now let's uh, take a look at our file directory again. Now we have unlink in here. Uh, what unlink does is it blocks the method that I just used to watch Grayson so that no one can do it to us. Now that I have um, unlink being set up on my account here, it'll stop people from being able to use link to watch what I'm doing, which is a very nice thing to have. So let's check our process list. We are indeed now running unlink as well as X modem. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.